EA Sports brings us to Southern California and Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Kansas City Chiefs and our home team. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Now a man who really came on late last year, it's Damian Williams. Only a couple for him there on the game's it's first it's play, it's and it's second down. Williams, he was solid in week nine, the win over Minnesota. 12 carries, 125 yards, and a score. But that really only tells part of the story. He broke off a 91-yard touchdown run, the longest in the NFL thus far this season. On second down, it's Williams. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Well, with Damian Williams, it's notable that the Chiefs didn't make a play to go after a big-time running back in the offseason. The coaching staff said back in May they didn't want running back by committee. They trusted Williams to be their starter. You remember last year, he was forced into the starting role the final three games of the season due to attrition, and he really excelled. And then he was excellent in the playoffs against the Colts and Patriots. Strong indicator that he was ready to be the bell cow. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard are so short. How about the two Bosa brothers, by the way? Both defensive players of the week in week eight for their respective conferences. Joey had two sacks, four tackles for a loss and a win over the Bears. Nick had three sacks and a pick in a win over Carolina. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Chargers coming back out here offensively, and this is a, a Charger crew that really a lot of people had left for dead a few short weeks ago. And now you look after week nine, all of a sudden they're four and five and two straight wins after being two and five. So with the win over Green Bay, very convincing 26 to 11 victory. Do we need to revisit our expectations for the Chargers? Well, this is the normal Chargers push, isn't it? At some point during the season, it feels like the Chargers get hot. Sometimes it culminates in a playoff appearance as it did last year. Sometimes they fall just a bit short, but it doesn't surprise me at all. They usually get off to rocky starts and they finish so strong. And frankly, two straight wins over Chicago and Green Bay should be three straight wins because of that, oh, that fumble at the goal line against Tennessee. They should be on a heck of a run right now. They got a short week, Oakland Thursday night, then they go to Mexico City to take on the Chiefs. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Doesn't look to be any confusion here as they come up now on a second and six following the delay of game. Rivers now throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. But now it'll be third down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Throwing Rivers. And that will be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Fourth down and on is Ty Long to punt. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. <laughs> 49-yard punt. Five on the return, and it's Chiefs football, first and ten. Kansas City's offense comes back out here. You know, Charles, you had the game in Arrowhead against Minnesota Week 9, and the Chiefs at one point, they were in danger of losing their fourth straight home game yeah. at Arrowhead. I yeah. mean, that, that would have been thought. unbelievable. Three in a row was unheard of, let alone four, but Harrison Butker saved the day with a game winner. Yeah, he did, and Matt Moore at the quarterback position. That became his eighth game-winning drive, rallied them late, even after a big penalty. made it, I think, a second and 21. Or... And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. 
Damian Williams, 70 yards, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral. The point after is good, and it's now a 7 0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. That one good for 13 and a charger first. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good hey, idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. Looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he stopped after a gain of one, not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Here's Ty Long now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. I got you. I got you. 
They begin the drive with Williams. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, you just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. Here's a guy on his fourth franchise in two years, Carlos Hyde. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Kelsey, such a valuable part of this offense. Made the Pro Bowl the last four seasons. 2018 being the most productive when he went over 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns, and a great relationship between he and Pat Mahomes off the field. Very good friends, attended a bunch of high profiles. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jerry Tillery, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So that'll back him up five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Following the penalty, it's Williams. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. On third and long, it's Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. Yellow. A couple of first downs on the drive already, as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Williams. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves yeah, on, yeah. and they can run it back inside later. On second and nine, Mahomes, and it's incomplete. The pro bowler Tyreek Hill, the intended receiver, at its third down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, and we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? This pass finds its way to Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. 
Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Rivers now to throw on first down. He's got it to Williams. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The end result, 21 yards. A nice little completion there by Phillip Rivers. And you and I were reading the article yesterday, fifth grade. Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations. So he clipped out a football player from a magazine article and pasted his face on the helmet. That's what he wanted to be, and it turned out okay. Not so bad, not so bad at all. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And on that play, I think he made the old coach proud with that completion. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Strip that ball. Watch the safety creep. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Hot, white, and hot, black 15. Hey, let's get that ball, D. Let's get that ball. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. And they're driving, but they come up on a third and short here. Step around 80. Hey, Brown 80. I don't even know why this team showed up. Switch, switch, switch. Get now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Rivers on first down. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there, 8 yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Running right, it's a handoff to Gordon. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, he finds his receiver, Williams, for a charger touchdown. Mike Williams there to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. It's good and we're all tied at seven apiece. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. here this will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
And now here comes Kansas City. And they had a long drive going last time, but it stalled out. But still, maybe something positive to carry forward from that last drive. Well, a few different things that you carry forward. Number one, as you noted, they were moving it pretty well, so that gives them a lot of confidence. The second part is, keep your defense off the field. Mm -hmm. Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit. And last but not least, yeah. you've taken a good yeah. look at what you've done on offense, noted where the weaknesses are, and you know when you want to come back to them. Like when you're organized with your points. Well Point done. A, B, and C. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's King. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Now Rivers. Caught by Allen. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Give him 12 yards there, and the Chargers have a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. On second and 12, Rivers hits his running back, Melvin Gordon. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 43. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now a 10th carry for Melvin Gordon. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. The Chargers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and four. From the shotgun, it's Rivers, and that is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So on fourth down, on comes the Charger kicker, Michael Badgley. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. 
And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. So distance, not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. So the long field goal misses, and now the reverse. You're in a tough spot defensively. They'll start the drive at the 43. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. CD, we're already firmly in the month of November, so I want to go ahead and take a look at the AFC playoff picture. Right now, division leaders, New England, Baltimore, Houston, and KC. If it ended today, the wild cards would go to Buffalo and Indianapolis. And you think those are going to be the six? Probably some shuffling along the way. There will be some shuffling along the way, maybe more in seeding than in actual teams, because when you look into who's in the wild card hunt right now, Pittsburgh, Oakland, both four and four. Tennessee and Jacksonville at four and five. The way teams are playing, they may just knock off each other. I think all the teams we listed have a heck of a chance of making it to the playoffs. So the 14 yards actually takes them from 143 to the other for first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. And they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should gonna pick up a holding call. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And he's gonna get across midfield and into Charger territory. Give him five yards there and it'll bring up second down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Yellow, yellow. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Off the draw, here's Williams. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're gonna be staring at a third and long here. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Oh, he's going to go for it all. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, w what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Colquitt on the kick as he sends it away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. On, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, Less of a field goal attempt for him. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Gordon. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. You got him. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down now, it's Gordon. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 yards on the play, first down. At this stage of the game, the run-pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. And that'll set them back five.
Fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. Gets it to Gordon. No gain and it's second down. Ah, that's it, baby. Usually the that's offense it. has an answer that's to it. anything a defense that's throws it. at them, including a safety valve. And that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. Set, 180. Mike Spoke Record, record. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he stopped immediately there. Later. Nothing there, no gain, and now they're looking at a third and 15. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, Three. hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? Well, we're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. The first down run, not going to get him a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there, so that'll bring up second and nine. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. 65, 65, 65. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And he takes us beyond the 35 before go, going out of go. bounds. A gain there of 21 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Now a throw for the All-Pro. Kelsey is complete. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. Let's go, hurry up, hurry up. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, that's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 30. So first and 10 now from the 30. Mahomes to throw once more. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got him. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. And again, it's Mahomes. He finds Robinson. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime.
Mahomes will bring him up first and 10. And he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. Now here's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption yeah, yeah. he can cause. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Mahomes going to throw. Oh, nearly picked. That may be lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. This is caught. Watkins. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Mahomes again. The quick slant caught. No gain there on the completion. It'll be second down. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides They're trying ready. to seize momentum They're to ready. begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That one good for 13 and a charger first. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route. And then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. Now he's the guy, Mike Williams, that the Chargers took seventh overall a couple of years ago. Battled injuries as a rookie, but in full health last year, he caught 43 passes with a knacker really finding the end zone. Ten of those 43 catches went for touchdowns. So now first and ten in Chiefs territory right at the 40. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 18 big yards on that one and a charger first. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Now a play fake here on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. 
Rivers now. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Mike Williams that time. And it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Going underneath for Gordon. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And the ball situated at the nine, second and goal. Throwing Rivers, and that is incomplete here. This defense trying to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that Go offense? 80. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? From the gun, Rivers. And this is complete. It's Allen. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. Then we got to give a little tip of the cap for the defense there. Zone coverage, locked it in tight, made it really difficult because they tried the crossing route against it, and it worked for a completion, but you have to know where the sticks are on third. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball. It's a foot race. He's at the 50, 30, the 20. 10, 5, and he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City, as his guys are in for six, and the Chiefs have taken the lead. Butker now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. The last time they had a little bit of a special teams breakdown, that field goal was blocked. Yeah, and everything has to be precise in the kicking game. Snap, hold, kick, obviously the blocking to keep people out. So what you really want to do is get in there and get six points and take the pressure off of those guys. Rivers out quickly here to Allen. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. The busy night continues for Gordon as he gets it here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. 
Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there for a very nice game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On play action, Rivers. Blitz coming and down he goes. Tyron Matthew, normally known for the pass coverage, this time a sack. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Here's Gordon. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On third down, Rivers sets up the screen to Gordon. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. And now here comes Kansas City. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Now second and seven from the 23. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding him to no gain. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. On the return, it's King. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. On, Tough to do better than that. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now Rivers able to get this to Gordon. He's at the 30. 20, and Gordon will work his way in for a Charger touchdown. Melvin Gordon, 76 yards, as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And we are tied at 14.
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Tackle made by Thomas Davis. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. They run it again with Williams. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Here we go. Here that we one, go. a first down pickup of eight. That was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Yellow. Right here, right here. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Yo, yo. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. To throw, it's Mahomes. Mahomes hit, he lost the football. On plays like this, where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback, the ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. That throw good for four. It's oh, second dude. down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. The busy night continues for Williams. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Yellow. So first and 10 now from the 30. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He's got it to Williams. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes, they'll set up the screen. This is Williams. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Time to give a little credit here. 
that was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And Robinson with a big catch. And he gets this Let's one go. inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 23 yards on the play. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They complete it to Hill. And here he'll get it down to the seven. The completion good for three, and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Mahomes now to throw. And this will be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight, unable to find anyone open. The Chiefs on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and seven. And again, it's Mahomes. And that is caught by Watkins for a Chief touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And they're able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Phillip Rivers, no stranger to fourth quarter. The Chargers back to victory 26 times coming into this year. But work to do here if he wants to add another notch to the belt. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. A second down throw for Rivers. It's Williams on the catch. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. 
They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. To throw is Rivers. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Rivers to Benjamin. Good for the Charger first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Rivers. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. A good pick up there of 22. Come on now, let's go. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing right the ball, right and they keep making the Mark connection. Now Rivers going to give to Gordon on the draw. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. And he'll take this one down near the 15. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Gets it to Gordon. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Badgley able to punch this one through, and that'll bring him back within four. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. After the made field goal, Badgley back out there for the kickoff. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. And we he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. 
The good run on first down followed up by a not so good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. And good pursuit yet again by the Chargers as they stuff him behind the line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion and you count on your D to make it stand up. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. You need to give the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you're just holding a slim lead, but that punt absolutely ideal they pin them inside the five yard line they give their defense a really nice opportunity ready black 15 they'll start the drive with a run by gordon and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair this will be a two yard loss on the play and that'll make it second and 12. They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. And he will try, but he can't. He can't escape the end zone. Gordon is taken down, and it's a safety. Now, the two points, that's not totally critical at this point. Still a one-score game, but they do have to give away the football with no guarantees they're going to get it back. Yeah, or at least if they get it back, will they have any time to do anything with it? So they've got to send their defense out there and say, guys, we got to have it right now. Save some time for us. So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. This is taken at the 10. Let's go, and out Let's come go. the Chiefs now. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense go, go. right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now 
I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Again, it's Williams. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Here's Mahomes now on the option right. He may try. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And this is recovered by the Chargers. Rivers now after the fumble recovery. Incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. Now Rivers. He completes it to Henry. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Let's go. Well, they got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them in bounds and have the clock run. Check, so I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? That, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. Rivers on the money complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. It's complete to Williams. And Williams is in for a Charger touchdown. Mike Williams, his second touchdown of the night, as they are now just an extra point away from taking the lead here in the final two minutes. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Here comes Mahomes and the Chiefs. 
Down 24-23, a minute 24 to go. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. To throw is Mahomes. This is caught by Williams. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Oh, I know it goes against the grain here. It totally goes against it, but you've got to drop the ball in that situation. He makes a catch, but he loses yards and doesn't get out of bounds. And we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. Mahomes to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Back to throw. And that will be incomplete. Fourth down now and defensively. Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. Now Gordon on first down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. Rivers out quickly here to Allen. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here, and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. And how about this finish? Able to take a knee, run out the clock, and close this game out by one point. You talk about <laughs> how, many, how many coaches we talked to. They all said to say, all I want to do is win by yep. one point. That got tested in this one. Yep, and that cliche rings true. A single penny separates this one. And his kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. Good night, everybody.